story is number 30, oh, 34, page 92. The Poppy Seed and a Mother's Search. During Shakyamuni's time on earth, there was a beautiful woman who married and gave birth to a perfect baby boy. She was a devoted mother, but one day her child sickened and died. In a paroxysm of grief, she clasped the tiny body to her breast and went around the village where she lived, asking if anyone could bring her son back to life. All who saw her were moved to tears. Finally, not knowing what else to do, they directed her to the place where Shakyamuni lived. Straight away, she went to see him and begged him in tears to restore her child to life. The Buddha responded gently, I understand how you feel. If you want your beloved child to return to life, you must do as I say. Go to town and bring me a poppy seed from a house where no one has yet died. As soon as you do that, I will bring him to life. Overjoyed, the woman hurried to town. But wherever she went, she was turned away. My father died last year, said one person. I lost my husband this year, said another. My child died just the other day, said someone else. Every house had poppy seeds, but no house was free of death. Still, the grieving mother wouldn't give up, but kept running around frantically in search of a house where no one had ever died. Finally, it grew dark. Exhausted, she dragged herself back to Shakyamuni. Couldn't you get a poppy seed, he asked. No, for fear, no, for death had come to every house I visited. I finally understood that my child too is dead. That's right, everyone dies. That fact is clear, yet people can't see it. Yes, said the woman, I was blind. If you hadn't made me go through this, I would never have understood. Please tell me how someone as foolish as I am can be saved. She listened intently to the Buddha's words from then on. Okay, very good. This is a very heartwarming story about uh, how difficult it is for us to accept the truth. And that's because of our foolishness. We don't want to see things as they are. We always like to sugarcoat them or see them in a way that's favorable to us, that's convenient to us. So that's human nature uh, that blinds us to the reality of life. And Buddha, knowing this full well, he asked the woman, to uh, undergo some task to uh, look for a poppy seed from a household where no one has ever died. So it's one thing to know something in theory. Oh yeah, I know everyone is gonna die. Like we all know that in theory. Then there is something else when we apply this principle of impermanence, we practice it on a day-to-day -day basis. So in this case, um, the woman followed the instruction of the Buddha sincerely. She didn't put her two cents uh, talking back saying, well, why do I have to do this, Buddha? <laughs> What's the point? I'm tired now. I don't want to go to the village. I just want my child back. That's all I want. Why do you ask me to do something else? So she was so sincere that she received the message of the Buddha wholeheartedly and put it into practice. And then the insight and the epiphanies that she received was so profound that transformed her, her view of life. And uh, she was able to listen to the Buddha even more sincerely. Because 
you know, if someone cannot see things as they are, it's like, you know, can that person have any chance of salvation or hope for happiness? It's like, you know, you are dealing with a sick person, you want to help them out, but they keep telling you, oh, nothing is wrong with me. What are you talking about? You know, do you think we can help or support such a person? It's going to be extremely difficult, if not impossible. Yeah, so that's what we learn in the right view on Mondays, usually in the meetup, right view lab. And yeah, so listening to Buddhism continually is actually helping us adopt this right view so we can uh, get, get rid of our blind spots and see the reality as it is. And then we can experience a happiness that uh, is for us just as we are, holding us fast, never to abandon us. So that's the beauty of learning Buddhism. So good job being here together, everybody, uh, practicing uh, recitation meditation for our mental health and spiritual growth. Today is Saturday, so we're going to have the Happiness Lab by Yuichi at 10 a.m. Pacific time. Have a beautiful start of your weekend, everybody. Bye.